I'm Tim Sorbera, and you're watching Real Anime Training. I was thinking the other day about the kind of training that Grandpa Gohan would have put Goku through in his early years, and that it might have been an interesting subject for a workout. Grandpa Gohan was trained by Master Roshi, so obviously that training method is burned into his body, but I doubt he did anything quite as vicious with Goku because the little tailed warrior is plainly surprised by the ferocity of Master Roshi's training. So I took a look at some of the things that you see Goku doing in the first episode of Dragon Ball, and I thought about some other things that a young man living alone on a mountain may have to do, and this is what I came up with. This workout has been requested for quite some time, and we are happy to do it uh, and come back in with the rest of our Dragon Ball content, uh, starting with Goku's early training on Mount Palzu. <laughs> To start off, after your warm-up for the day, you'll run one mile. The run can be at whatever pace you like. You can run it easy, break it into sets of sprints, or whatever you want to do with it. Just get the distance done. The next exercise is going to be wood cutting, and we're going to do that for 30 minutes. Now, wood cutting is kind of an open concept. Uh, you can use an axe, a hatchet, or a saw, um, but please be careful not to cut yourself or to have a tree fall on you. Uh, if you don't have experience with this, please seek out instruction from someone with experience. You want to make sure that you try to do both sides and whatever you're doing. Uh, if you're sawing or if you are hatcheting or using an axe, uh, and you really want to focus on trying to get as much work done in that 30 minute time period as possible. The next is heavy object lifting. We're going to do that for 15 minutes. Heavy object lifting is also kind of open. You can lift stones, logs, sandbags, bars, whatever you have. The general point is it for it to be moderately heavy and slightly awkward at the same time so that you can build a, a set of real world strength. Lift whatever implement you have as high as you can for every lift. And on the 10th lift of whatever it is that you are using, you will attempt to toss the weight in any direction that you choose. Just be careful not to drop it on your head and also make sure that you can actually throw the implement that it's not gonna break and that you're not throwing it in a place where you're gonna break something else. It is a bad idea to try to throw weights in the gym. You will get thrown out. The next is tree punching and kicking for 10 minutes. Now this is completely up to your comfort level. Just a nice little tap. I'm not wanting you to like, you know, blast it in there. Just a nice little tap. Get used to hitting stuff. Hit with the, the bottom three knuckles of the fist too just so that you can toughen up the whole fist. It's gonna take time, but eventually, you can hit a little harder. 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 You can really start to get to the point where you can actually hit the wood a little harder. And believe me, um, there was a point where I was really training this kind of stuff a lot. At some point, um, when I was training that stuff, I was hitting like, you know, doing iron palm training. I could leave knuckle imprints in wood. Like, so, believe me. It takes time, but you can get there. I'm gonna pick up my foot and just tap. Tap very, very easily. There are small bones in your hands and feet. And if you hit too hard, they will break. So start off easily. You can even do like your big toe, like that. Believe it or not, just to show you, like my big toe is very tough. I can kick the crap out of stuff with my big toe. And it's because it just takes time working up to it. But like, yeah, so this, for me, this isn't a big deal. I can kick this, not a big deal. I really would recommend as smooth a tree as possible. Perhaps even the surface from a tree where you were already sawing so it's nice and flat. Uh, and you're gonna hit it at your own comfort level. It shouldn't really be painful, but you should also know that you're hitting something. So it's gonna start off really lightly, tap, 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 and then over time you'll be able to hit a little bit harder. Um, remember to use proper striking form and restraint. If you slam your fist into a tree as hard as you can for the first time, that will probably be the last thing that you hit for quite some time. Uh, so really be careful. And if you are new to hitting at all, or if you're not comfortable with hitting a tree uh, for any reason, 
you're certainly welcome to wrap your hands and just hit a punching bag to start off with. And when you get comfortable, you can certainly move into the later stuff. It takes a long time to build up to being able to hit hard objects like wood or stone or things like that. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that you take your time, do it a little bit at a time. The progress you see during this is going to be very slow. So do not get ahead of yourself. If you want to start the training session with hitting the heavy bag and then transition toward the end of the training session with light taps on the tree with your hands and feet, that's perfectly acceptable. The idea is I want you to get used to feeling the hardness of the tree on your knuckles, feet, and shins. Uh, start slowly. You will hurt yourself. It, this is a huge, like if I could make like a huge banner that says start slowly, progress slowly, or you will hurt yourself. Yeah, that, that, that's a thing that can happen. And it will happen if you try to go too quickly. As a young kid on the mountain, Goku probably spent a good portion of his time playing. Uh, playing is kind of an open concept, like most of this workout. Um, you can run around, uh, practice jumping or climbing or swimming, practice your handstands. Uh, you can spin around in circles, you can hang upside down, uh, you can balance a stick on two fingers, throw a ball up in the air and catch it, uh, balance on a fallen tree. I think you get the picture. There's just have fun with it. Do something that's active that is also fun. Play. The point of a training is both a reminder of the different kinds of training that exist and each of their uses, and also to remind you to keep things fun. Uh, Playtime is 15 minutes long. Next, we're gonna practice martial arts for 30 minutes. Um, and for that, you can pick out a couple of techniques you wanna practice um, and go ahead and hammer those out. You can work on any drills that you know. You can shadow box, uh, practice forms, whatever you like. The only catch on this one is that your practice will be solo. That means you will not have a partner for this practice time. Sometimes it's good to just sit back and practice whatever you would like to train on your own. And we're gonna end this workout with a one mile walk. On the last mile walk, just take your time and enjoy the scenery of wherever it is you're training. Plus, nobody said that you'd stop walking at a mile. Let this last part be a peaceful time of meditation for you. And try to observe your natural surroundings, wherever they may be. Alright, to recap here, we have a one mile run, followed by 30 minutes of wood cutting, 15 minutes of heavy object lifting, and you're going to throw that object on every 10th lift. And then we've got 10 minutes of tree punching and kicking. Remember, that is to your comfort level. We have 15 minutes of playing. Go, have fun, play. And then 30 minutes of martial arts practice. And then ending with one mile of walking. That's all for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please go ahead and press the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share this video with all of your friends. And we want to go ahead and thank all all of our patrons and the Real Anime Training Plus members for supporting this channel with their actual real life money. Until next time, good luck and train hard. Trees.